The first player with three home runs in his first three days on the right field line. Yeah, came on a 3-1 pitch. Sabathia catches way too much of the plate, belt high, and Johnny Damon runs it right down the right field line. Jim Wolf, the umpire down the right field line, initially called it foul after conferring out in the middle of the game. And he's wondering why is that right? Bruce Freming, home run. The call for after a cheater pop out, two straight walks, now a strikeout to Posada. And Matsui rolls to the right side. Cabrera makes the play, and the inning is over. Long 19 and 7. And guys, when he's right, you wear out the inning. Sizemore, good lead. Doesn't go. Cabrera spanks it to short. Easy turn for Jeter. A 6-3 double play. They don't run. Cabrera hits a seed, a double play, and two are out. Throw that turbo sinker up there. A little slider, a little change up. Strikes to Victor Martinez. Line drive to right field. Base hit. Two are on. Line drive. Into center field a hit. Here comes Hefner around third. He's going to try. He's going to score, and we are tied. Another payoff. They're loaded for Lofton. It's 8 9 in 2001. Hot shot base hit center field. Martinez scores. Garco will come around. He will score. Runner in a pickle. And the inning is over. Kenny Lofton. Runner goes. Pitch low. Martinez is thrown right on the money and in time. Perfect throw. Swing and a miss. South broke the ball pretty good. Hard hit ball. Sizemore has a two out single. Fourth Cleveland hit. We talk about Long keeping the ball down. Peter, his first time up. This kid's been a huge spark to the Indians as Sizemore's run. The pitch a strike, the throw a strike, and in time. Both Posada and Martinez have gunned out an opposing base stealer. One ball, two strikes. Tipped and caught, and Jeter the bat. He walked his first time up. And he jumps at the first pitch, pops it up. Middle of the infield. Peralta at short, and the inning is over. Well, if he has anything close to the career that Omar Vizquel had, simply defensively, the Indians already committed highway robbery. Fly ball, belted right field deep. Back goes a brain. Track. Wall, it's gone. I think your starting pitcher, based on the history and what you've seen through the regular season, is going to settle in. You're right. In. A little flare drops in front. And given the kind of season that Wong had this year for the Yankees, I, I think Joe Torre has every confidence that he will settle in at some point here, and he will find that. In the air to right. Long run, Abreu, but he's going to get there. And that will retire the side. But as Dribble succeeded at a high level at some point this year, you just hope they do it under the bright lights. Four. Line to right. Gutierrez giving ground. That ball is yeah. going to bounce over the yellow line. It's a home run. Robinson Cano has made it a two-run game. A laser beam to right. Great stroke. He stayed back on that breaking ball nicely, and Gutierrez knew he had no chance to catch that ball. Was hoping he was going to play off. Moving Grady Sizemore down in the lineup. That didn't work out as well as the Indians would have liked. When they put Sizemore first, Cabrera second, and Lofton down in the seventh spot, all of a sudden the Indians started rolling. Lee, I, I totally agree with that. Hard hit ball. A Rod at third. Throws low to second. Good scoop by Cano. And they force Gutierrez for out number two. Runner at first, two outs. Back to the top of the order in Grady Sizemore. But first, log on to TBS Hot Corner at MLB. Said, We're going to use it. Those kids are going to play. The same applies here to Duncan. Off the bench in the fifth. And a line drive to right. Gutierrez will play that. A button and again the tying run to the plate. 
costs the Yankees a run in the middle innings. It won't. Inside the bag, fair left field line. Duncan around third will score. Abreu with a double makes it a one run game, and here come the Yankees. It's four to three. And that one has the Yankees now on the edge of reclaiming this game one lead. He got it. What? Abreu at second. A rod at first. And a 2 0 count to Hideki Matsui. Popped him up. Blake and Peralta. Inning over. The Yankees load That was about the greatest honor I've ever had. Fly ball. Up into the ground. Everything going clean because he doesn't have much power and that makes good arms better. But that's a slapper into left center field. Here comes Peralta. Here comes the throw. It's cut off. Good call, Tony. Huge two out hit from Lofton has driven home three with two outs tonight. And Rockin' Lions weren't missing. They chase him after four and two thirds innings. He serves season play. And now it's Ross Ohndorf. Lofton a moderate lead. Great jump. A slider strike and no chance to get Kenny Lofton. Yeah. LeBron has the hat put more runs on the board. You try to cash it in. Line drive, right field corner. Trouble if it's fair. It's fair and into the corner. Lofton scores. Gutierrez around third. He's going to score. It's 9-3. Get to the pitcher spot in the lineup. You don't have that in the American League. Fly ball hit high in the air, shallow right center. Cabrera, good jump, calls everybody off. Eating slider. Eric Wedge told us that Perez is a guy that he could use to pitch against righties. Struck him. Nice. They had to play an extra day before they played the Braves. They beat the Red Sox as Duncan's down on strikes. Perez. Well, base is good. Line drive, right center field, Hafner. Nobody's getting that ball. And that one's out of here. I'm going to show you what kind of strength he's got. That ball got out of here to right center field. He has a two-run homer tonight. And he spanks one down the left field line. Damon will dig that out in the corner. Victor Martinez, a three for four night. Line right center field. That's going to roll for a while. Garko scores. Peralta stops at third. It's a double. Four two out RBIs for Kevin. Here in the sixth inning. There's another youngster on this yank. Did he go? Yes, he did. Three strikes out of it. Three strikes. Line to right. Gutierrez slides. Catch makes the play. Nice sliding catch here. Pitches that ball about knee high, goes into his slide. You may remember he cut that ball off in the right field corner earlier in the game. Looked like extra bases. He got over there quickly, hustled it back into the infield. Covers a lot of ground. And that's great scouting. No question about it, Chip. And this may pay dividends later in the series, getting these guys' feet. As Casey Blake is down on strikes, one man out. Things that they had done during the regular season. That's over the outside corner, and Phil Hughes looked awfully good in the seventh. Maybe Bob's right on in the fifth inning. So, A-Rod has... ...or so. 
And then we'll take you down to Chase Field. Fly ball, right field, well hit. Long run. Garko goes yard. Stayed with it, went right with it to right field. Squared it up nicely. Will Hughes had been impressive. Jacobs Field presented by Budweiser. Here's the second of the two Raphaels. This one the right-hander, Rafael Betancourt, who along with Rafael from the Yankee staff tonight. They haven't really busted the Indians inside to keep them honest. A lot of pitches out. The Indians as a team have a total of two. Cano down on strikes. Boy, oh boy, strikeout, strikeout. Fly ball left. On the run, Lofton, and the line makes the grab. And how apropos is that? That's something the Yankees have always been very good at. Hard hit ball, shallow right, shift was on, Cabrera hit, but lost the first game. Fly ball, center field, it's caught, and the Indians have won game one in convincing fashion. 12-3 was the final score. For Tony Gwynn, Bob Brindley, Craig.